Want to make sure you never miss a Kindly Kian video again? Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications. Don't know what. Excuse me? <laughs> what just happened? And why is there a golden apple up here? Hello, everybody. I am Kindly Kian, and welcome back to Hello Neighbor. It's been quite some time since we've actually played Hello Neighbor, so I'm excited to be back in the game. And since the last time we played, there's actually been a lot of updates and changes to the game. In addition to that, the modding community has kind of picked up again because I think in previous updates, they kind of broke the modding tools and people weren't actually able to post mods to the Steam Workshop. So they kind of died out for a while, but it seems like mods are slowly kind of trickling back into the workshop and it looks like there are some really, really really good mods out there. So today we're going to be showcasing one of those mods. Now this mod is called Before Hello Neighbor and it's by someone by the name of Rust Tarantula and I'm really excited to check this out because you actually play as a character who goes by the name of Zachary Gray and you're apparently a friend of Nikki Roth. Now Nikki Roth is the main character in Hello Neighbor. So this is kind of like a prequel to Hello Neighbor. It seems really cool and I'm excited to check it out. So let's go ahead and jump in to Before Hello Neighbor. We're falling. Is it actually broken? Okay, so here we are in what seems to be the neighbor's backyard. Yeah, so according to the maker of this mod, we have been locked in the neighbor's house. So this, I assume, is the neighbor's house. This is his backyard, but why does this house look so different from the houses that I know from Hello Neighbor? It's, it's all very confusing. The neighbor seems to change his house very, very often and very quickly also. So what do we need to do? I have no idea. Let's check the cars. Uh, well, there's, there's shoes inside of this car. Why would you leave shoes inside of your car? Looks like we're going to need a key to get inside of this shed. Uh, what's going on in here? Got like a plank leading up to what? what? Oh, I, I see a key. I see a key. Can can I get to that key? I don't think I can. Maybe there's a magnet gun that I can get. I'm not sure. Can I open this up? No, nope, can't go into the basement. All right, let's do some more exploring. It's been such a long time since I've actually played this game. So you'll have to bear with me as I kind of get my hello neighbor gears spinning again. Oh, we can go inside the house. Okay. Interesting. It seems to be a water leak inside the house. We can get a wrench, but I didn't really see anywhere where the wrench could be used. Oh, a car key. That could be helpful. Let's go back to the car. Let's see if we can pop open the trunk. It's so weird playing this game because it's so much faster than Granny. You move so slow in Granny, but in this game, you move real fast. Okay. Oh, a lock pick. Okay. I like the sound of that. Should we use the lock pick on this? I guess we can. Remember, you can only use lock picks once. So there is some danger in that. Is that a black key? Okay, I'm not sure I saw a black lock anywhere. Is there anything underneath the rock? You never know, the neighbor likes to hide things under rocks. Okay, let's try to figure out where this black key is gonna be used. I don't need the car key anymore. Is there a, ah, there's a black lock on the main gate. So it looks like we have a golden or like copper key that we need to find and then a key card that we need to find. Also, there's a ladder leading up to the second floor. What am I gonna do with a shovel? Was there a, was there like a dirt mound that we could dig in? I think there was. Yeah, you, come here. You got something? Let's see, oh, I like this. Hey, a golden key. This is the playhouse key? We have not yet found a playhouse, have we? Is there anything hiding over here? A golden key, what? The, okay, sure. What, I can't pick it up? Do I have a full inventory? I do. Okay, I don't think I need the shovel anymore. Let's just put it down over there. Let's grab the golden key. So we have a golden key that we can use in addition to the playhouse key, but we still don't know. Oh, oh, the wrench. We can use the wrench on this. Okay, yeah. I love these puzzles. This is so much fun problem solving through this game. I love it. All right, golden key, get in here. Okay, there's a very tiny car. Of course, there's the picture of the neighbor's family. So creepy, very, very creepy. Why is there a tiny bed? 
Is there gonna be like a little man inside this bed? I don't know if I ever like really showed it off. I'm sure I did in some episode of Hello Neighbor in the past, but there is a bunk bed in one of the rooms in the neighbor's house in act three, and there's eyes underneath the blanket on the top bed. It's weird. It's super weird, but I don't think that's the situation here. So uh, let's open up the playhouse, see what this gives us access to the key card. It's beautiful. Come here. Okay. So I don't think I need the golden key. I don't think I need the black key. I don't think I need the wrench. And I'm pretty sure I don't need the playhouse key either. So let's just leave everything up here. Grab the key card. And then is there anything that we can do with this guy over here? No, it doesn't look like it. We should open these doors just in case these unlock some doors uh, that we haven't had access to before. Can't help but notice that there's some planks up here for sale. That's Nikki's house, isn't it? Isn't that where his family moves in? I don't know. I'm just a confused little boy. That's that's what I am. Let's just get out of here. I'm I'm stuck. Hello, please L let me out. Oh gosh, oh, I think I might be uh broken. I think I may have broken the game. I can't get down ladders. It's too complicated. Okay, get the key card over there and then maybe uh, Please let me through. I can't get out. Guys, I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm so stuck. Ah, okay. Uh, let's restart, I guess. I hope this doesn't restart the whole thing. It's probably going to restart the whole thing, isn't it? Yeah, it is. All right. I'm going to have to restart. Wait, or, or not? False alarm. False alarm. We're okay. Everything's okay. We have the key card. Now we can unlock this. We still need the copper key though. So is there anything inside of here that we possibly missed? There's there's no nothing going on with the paintings or anything like that. I know how the neighbor likes to be sneaky with his paintings. Let's see. Check all the paintings. Anything behind the couch? Nothing behind the couch. Check this painting. Okay. Nothing. Nothing going on here? No. I hear walking. Do you guys hear that? There's footsteps. There's footsteps outside? Huh. That's interesting. I don't like that. Oh, wait. The copper key is right there. So we need, like, a magnet gun, right? That seems like the only way that we could get the copper key from there. But I have not seen a magnet gun. I have seen shoes, though. That's nice. Actually, have we even gone up here? I don't think we have. We should. Yeah, what's going on over here? Ah, I bet you this door was locked before we unlocked it with the playhouse thing. Maybe? I don't know, actually. What's in here? <gasps> the magnet gun? Yes! The magnet gun! All right! So now we should be able to get the copper key. No problem. Copper key, where are you? There you are. There we go! All right. I hope this isn't the end of the mod, because we beat that way too fast. I hope there's more to it. Let's Let's open this up. Go, go open, please. You're not going to open. Can you please open? Maybe the lock is in the way. Let's get this out of the way now. Okay. Maybe this lock is in the way. Try again. What is going on? Just, just go through. Just get, oh, the end. No. Yes. What is happening? I'm confused and scared. Why do I still hear walking? Should I, should I? move forward what is this over here there's a hammer i can't do anything with the hammer why is there a pipe just sticking out of the floor is this the neighbor's construction project oh what what are all these papers <laughs> i didn't even notice these okay this is creepy should we go over to the for sale house what is that creaking oh, I, uh, it's getting louder it's definitely getting louder as i go over here what is going on i am very very confused is that the end of the mod maybe we need to run to the hospital it's not the first place i would go to after escaping from a kidnapper probably go to the police but i guess that works go to the hospital the sog to pull i can't go to the sog to pull it's not gonna let me through there's an invisible wall okay so I guess that was it. This was a cool mod. I wish there was a little bit more to it, but uh, it was well made and I enjoyed it. And I liked the whole prequel premise. Seems cool. But let's go ahead and try another mod.
Okay, so we're gonna try out another mod by Artem Games. This one is called Hello My Neighbor. So I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. He just says that this is his first mod and that it's something like Act One. So let's see what it's like. First of all, we're standing in the street in front of a giant brick wall. The neighbor is using brick now. He's evolved. He's no longer using wood. He's now using brick. Let's see if this brick is apple proof. Is it apple proof? It is apple proof. Good to know. All right. Uh, can we go inside? We can. He's just he's got this awesome brick wall and then just leaves the door open. Sure. It's a little plain. The textures are a little bland, but that's OK. That's all right. This this house looks like it's made out of sand or butterscotch pudding or something like that. All right. Uh, let's. Oh, oh, this is this is a creepy room. <laughs> I don't like this room. It's too dark. Close the door. See this room. Is it another creepy dark room? It is. It totally is. Why does he have a house next to his house with like a kitchen in it and weird dark rooms? It's, it's a weird situation. Let's go into the front door. Go ahead and ring the doorbell. Nothing. I hear the neighbor. So this time we actually have to worry about the neighbor. In that last mod, we didn't have to worry about the neighbor at all. Oh, he must be very close. He, he, uh, hello? Hello? Uh, what is that? Did you just push a chair through that door? <gasps> you did. You sure did. Okay. Uh, how did I? Okay. I'm standing on top of your brick wall. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Nothing. You can't do anything. I'm too powerful. All right. Now that I'm on top of his brick wall, what am I going to do with this newfound power? Probably nothing because it's really not doing us any good, uh, except now we're going to get caught by the neighbor. Please stop. Please, please stop chasing me. This is just reminding me of how much I don't like you chasing me. <laughs> OK, all right. This time we actually have to deal with the neighbor, which is very annoying, but you know, it's kind of part of the game. So I'm not exactly sure what we're looking for. I don't know what our first obstacle is. I guess we can look for like a wrench. We could probably look for a key card, maybe like a OK, a crowbar, I was going to say. Can we go in through the back door? We can, but I didn't get to see what's actually back there. So there are some items that we can keep a lookout for. Also a red key. Let's go ahead and go through the back door since the neighbor seems to like hanging out in the front. Why is it so dark? in this house. I really don't like this. I want a flashlight. It's like weird glowing wood. Why is the wood glowing? It's very creepy. So I hear some weird sparking. I don't don't know what is causing that. Guess we can move into the next room. Check things out. See what's going on here. Refrigerator. There's always stuff hiding in the refrigerator. Just banana juice. OK, never mind. There's never anything hiding in the refrigerator. Drawers. Checking all the drawers. Checking all the cabinets. I do hear the neighbor walking outside. What is that thing? I don't even know what this is. It's a weird piece of furniture. I don't think I've ever seen that in Hello Neighbor. OK, we're definitely getting closer to him. The music's getting weird. Oh, that's the front door. OK, good to know. Let's go over here, I guess. Toilet, of course. It's all he has in this room is just a toilet. No sink. You can't wash your hands. That's disgusting, neighbor. And then bathtub in a completely separate room. What is that? What is that up there? Give it to me. No, I want the thing that's on top of the cabinet. Ooh, that's sleeping medicine. Come on, grab it. I don't need your toothbrush. I don't need your toothpaste. I want your sleeping pills so that I can poison the milk. I don't think I can get the sleeping pills. They're in a very, very weird spot. And I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it at all. OK, so I found like nothing in the neighbor's house. Why? What are we supposed to do? Is there anything in these cabinets? Nothing. Oh, wait a second. What's down here? This is weird. Can we turn the lights on and off? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We are very, very close to the neighbor right now. It's kind of freaky there. Oh, OK, so this is kind of like the basement level. Uh, let's just OK, can't see anything through there. I can't open that door, so I'm not sure what's going on with that giant washing machine. Of course, neighbor loves doing his laundry. Uh, what? OK, that's another locked door. Oh, we found the source of the sparking. So there must be like a uh, generator that we need to turn off or something somewhere. I cannot see anything in this area. This is very difficult. OK, I have no idea 
what we're supposed to do down here. I've explored a lot, but honestly haven't like really made any progress. So maybe we need to start working with the building that's on the outside of the house. I guess we could check all these drawers and cabinets inside of this weird room with glowing wood. So bizarre. Nothing in these drawers. Okay. Not having much luck here. Okay, neighbor found me. Great. So he's just gonna continually chase me until I submit to his whatever he does. His shaking. Aggressive shaking. That's what the neighbor does. Let's check out the kitchen in this weird other house. I'm so lost. There's nothing of value here. There's also a couch in the way of this door. I, I get out of the bear trap. Okay. There's a door at the very end. What? Why? What is happening? Wait, that's a key. That's a golden key. Do I need the magnet gun for that? Can I throw apples? I can't throw apples. What is going on with this room? <laughs> it's so confusing. Maybe I can get over? Oh, oh. It's getting kind of close. I can almost get over this, but I don't know. Well, Excuse me? <laughs> what just happened? And why is there a golden apple up here? Uh, and I got an achievement? What? Okay. I am so confused right now. Just want to let you guys know. I am very, very confused. Also, I don't think we found that room. I don't think we ever went inside of that room over there. I have no idea. This is so weird. Is there anything over here that we can use? I guess we could use the flashlight. I probably should have looked there first. Okay. Let's take this flashlight inside of the neighbor's house. See if we can figure anything out that we haven't already. This is tough. I have no idea what we're supposed to be doing. No! Stop chasing me! Okay. Did he get stuck? I think he may have gotten stuck. Maybe we can go in through the front door now? Let's try. Ah, this is the room that we didn't go into. Probably because I couldn't see it because it was so dark. Let's go up. See what's going on up here. Ooh, a gramophone. Well, I haven't seen any plants, so I don't think we really need to mess around with the gramophone. Let's check these drawers. Okay, nothing going on in there. Lots of books on the shelves. Okay, nothing. Move on to the next room. Okay, we've got more furniture. Whoa, there's a baseball. Another baseball, it looks like, or a plate. I, I don't know. The neighbor's getting pretty close, and I'm scared. Did he just put a camera on the floor? Sure, okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's a weird looking Rubik's Cube, and that's a weird looking banana, and that's a truck. Great. So far, not so good. And now we've got a room with a bunch of locks on it but I have no keys. So what do I do now? Like I said, I continually feel like we're finding new stuff, but we're making zero progress. What am I missing? What's missing? Not the painting. What's going on in here? This is the front door. There's nothing going on here. I don't care about the front door. And I certainly don't care about the bathroom. Let's go back downstairs now that we actually have a flashlight and can see in some of the darker areas. Oh, that was Teddy. Ugh. I was wondering what that was that we were looking at. Look at that. <laughs> That's so creepy. It's just Teddy. Don't worry. Can we mess with this at all? There's a crowbar over there. I don't even know what the crowbar is for. I haven't found anything that needs the crowbar. Okay. So I have been thoroughly stumped by this mod. There's not a lot going on, but I did find a single comment from the maker of this mod. So he admits that this is pretty hard. The car key is wedged in this corner. So I'm hoping that by finding the car key, we can kind of get things kickstarted and start finding some more stuff. But now the question is, where's the car? Is this a car key for our car? We already, we already can get into our car. We don't need the car key for our car. So where's the neighbor's car? Hey, excuse me, neighbor. Where's your car? Is it parked in the, the back? It's not parked in the back. So, uh, where, where's that car, neighbor? So what am I supposed to do with the car key that I don't have a car for? I need the red key. I bet you it's in here, isn't it? That looks like a garage. There's a garage there. 
Am I missing something? Is there a room that we haven't gotten to yet? Oh, neighbor, you're being very annoying. Actually, let's check out this room here real quick. Now that we have our flashlight, just see if there's anything that we can see that we couldn't see before. It doesn't look like it. Looks like this is where we need the crowbar. Oh, this is the final exit. So we need a crowbar and a key card to get out of here. Well, so far it has not been going very well. Oh, I think I found something. Some kind of lever. Okay. Uh, oh, we need to follow this cord. No, no. it's leading to a room that I don't even have access to. I need a green key. <laughs> Oh, you know the saying, one step forward, two steps back. That is exactly how I feel with this mod. I can make no progress. Neighbor, neighbor, no, neighbor. You, you're not the problem here. The problem is my own brain. Like my own brain is not helping me find the answers to this insane puzzle. Like I cannot figure this out. There's. Hey, hey, there's a door over there. Okay, okay, there's a door behind that door. We need to go into the door next to the door. There's a door over here. Stupid neighbor, thank you for putting me in that corner so that I could see this door. Now, is this door gonna lead to just another sad ending? Another dead end? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Probably. There's a fireplace with the uh, red, red key. With the red key in it. Oh my god. Gosh, okay, where was the red lock? The red lock was in the, it, it was at the garage, right? In the front, yes, open. Oh my goodness, we're making progress, you guys. This is a miracle. And now we have the car key, and of course the car is back here. The key card, okay, this is good. This is good, this is a step in the right direction. We can open this up, but we still need the crowbar. And the main thing with the crowbar is that electric fence. So is there anything inside of this room that'll help us get past that weird electric fence? I don't know. I honestly have no idea. I'm very scared. The neighbor seems to be very, very close to me right now. There's a cassette tape or VHS, I don't know. There's a lot of boxes back here. I appreciate that the neighbor is actually pretty organized. Ooh. Is that, that's, that's just a door leaning up against the wall. That's not an actual door, right? It's not an actual door, not an actual door. Yeah, fireworks. That's cool. I love the fireworks. Can we use them? No, don't use the fireworks. They will crash your game. Awesome. Well, guys, unfortunately, my game crashed. and I lost all my progress in that mod. And let's be real, that mod is super super hard if you guys have some tips for me and maybe you want to see me try it out again be sure to let me know in the comment section down below but i think that we're gonna try out some more mods in hello neighbor there's some really really well made mods i know that conrad has made some really cool mods and uploaded them to the steam workshop and his mods are always super super well made so maybe we'll check those out in a little bit but hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode and our return to hello neighbor if you did be sure to hit that like button and of course if you'd like to see more or you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on that little circle with my logo in it right below this window. You can also watch more of my videos by clicking on the sides of the screen. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.